聽佢哋講，佢哋多啲人會上台講説話。我哋而家有請。Hello. After the previous excellent speeches, thank you, Bell. Thank you for the introduction. I wish now that I made my speech trilingual as well. Um, sorry, I haven't. Um, but look at the bright side. Um, at least my speech is shorter, <coughs> seeing as it's only monolingual and not trilingual. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ian Young, and I'm Tiffany's brother. And today I have the honour of delivering the traditional. Bright speech. A great day like this takes always takes many months of careful planning and hard work, with contributions both great and small from many people. In this instance, my sister Tiffany seems to have done all, or pretty much all, the work. Um, but on behalf of everyone here, I would like to thank Tiffany and everyone involved for all the hard work. Thank you. Like me, I'm sure everyone here has noticed how stunning Tiffany and her bridesmaids, Alita, Eve, Fiona, Olivia, Samantha, and Wanhan, look today. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding? I propose a toast to the bride and her bridesmaids. To the bride and her bridesmaids. Fine, you can all sit down now. <laughs> I know that in my heart, that if Dad was here today, how happy and proud he would be. I'm very glad that Dad did get the chance and the opportunity to get to know a boy. Because I'm sure he would agree that boy really is the ideal partner in life for my sister. He's smart, witty, down to earth, and absolutely devoted to Tiffany. I think it's wonderful that Dad really liked Hoy, and I have no doubt that Dad's fully aware of just how happy Hoy has made Tiffany since then. So on behalf of our family, I'd like to welcome Hoy into our little clan. Welcome. But the real question is, what is Hoy getting himself into? <laughs> Does he know who he has married? <laughs> who is the fantastic new Mrs. Tiffany Ung? <laughs> to answer these questions, I'm very grateful for some help I've had from various sources. As a child, Tiffany was a bright, adorable, yet very precocious young thing. In many ways, she still is. At the age this was most evident when she was appointed Master of Ceremonies at my grandfather's book launch ceremony, despite being at the tender age of just seven years old. With almost no prepared script, she managed to deliver a magical evening for a pro host of people at the golf club with great wit, charm, and aplomb. Fantastic. Apart from her charm, Tiffany is also very determined. Especially anything to do with going on holiday. <laughs> and food. Yes, food. Anything to do with cooking it, eating it, finding yummy new places to try it, and photographing it. <laughs> Tiffany's your gal. Did you know? Tiffany once seriously contemplated driving almost two hours north of San Francisco to a small town called Yankville, in the middle of nowhere, to try a legendary restaurant called French Laundry, and only gave up on the idea when she couldn't book a table. <laughs> or that she managed to once achieve a super foodie day in Hong Kong, whereby she had six meals in six famed local eateries, all in one day. Amazing. She also spent a year planning her trip to Bhutan last year, only to discover that the local cuisine consisted of just curry, 
and cheese. <laughs> yes, my sister is indeed a walking global Michelin guidebook. So, if you're ever going on holiday and you don't know where to eat, you know who to call. Despite being so gastronomically gifted, the real mystery is how does Tiffany remain so thin? <laughs> I can now reveal the answer to this conundrum, which I'm sure has been perplexing her closest friends for so many years. Genes. <laughs> it's all in the genes. Tiffany has obviously inherited all the thin and good looking genes in the family. Leaving me with leftovers. <laughs> oh well. Now, in addition to being smart, spontaneous, and extremely organised, everyone knows my sister is stunningly beautiful. I credit a lot of this to a school roadie. Did you know? She had a habit of religiously rubbing Vaseline all over her body every morning at the crack of dawn. And every night before bedtime. Every day. <laughs> if only I had gone to girls' boarding school, maybe I'm not as skin as amazing as Tiffany's. In addition to a natural beauty, it's very helpful that Tiffany has amazing dress sense. But do you know where this came from? In 1998, David Beckham, the England footballer, made headline news in England for wearing a sarong. Tiffany took this on board and spent that year's New Year's Eve celebrations in Chimsana Choi wearing the must-have fashion accessory in 1998, a sarong. I can only say I'm so very glad that Tiffany is not dressed as David Beckham today. <laughs> to summarise, my sister is a beautiful, kind, caring, smart, and fantastic young woman, and as such, is a credit to us all. It is clear to us just how, how much Hoy has made her so very, very happy. My father would be so happy and so proud if he was here with us today. He would almost, almost certainly have been given a much longer, wounded, and much more embarrassing speech. <laughs> Now, according to the internet, the last thing I'm supposed to do with such speeches is to put on some sage marriage advice. Fortunately, I have none. <laughs> However, working to the first principle in retailing, the customer is always right. I imagine a Hoy sticks to a similar principle of Tiffany is always right. I'm sure it will do just fine. So all that remains is for me to wish you both a long and happy future together. So ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all to be upstanding and join me in proposing a toast to the happy couple and wishing them the very best for the future. To Tiffany and Hoy. To Tiffany and Hoy. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> that was really touching indeed. We would now like to invite Hoy's bosses, Francois and Julian, to the stage to say.